Welcome to today's modular classroom. Today we are going to see how we can monitor the participants in a Google Meet. When we enter into Google Meet and start presenting, uh, we cannot have the view of the participants of the entire or complete participants who are in the meeting. To monitor and view them, there is an option in the Google Web Store, in the Chrome Web Store uh, called DLS. If you add this DLS extension to the uh, Chrome, we can have a have a control over the participants and we can monitor the participants in a meeting. Let us look how we can have this dual extension. So first step is we have to go to the Chrome store and search DLS and add this to the Chrome extension. Once this extension has been added to the toolbar, we can choose the ratio on how we can work on with the screens of how it is uh, being split it into two ratios. So it helps us to give the browser, splits the browser which we work into two screens. So now let us see. DLS, you enter as DLS Google Meet in the Chrome. Enter into DLS Google Chrome extension. Now first we have entered into Chrome Web Store. From Chrome Web Store, you can find the DLS and you can click on Add to Chrome. Once you click, it is asking whether you want to add extension. I am giving as add extension. So in the bottom, you can see the message that it is adding to Chrome. So it is adding. This GLS is being added to Chrome. We should wait for just a minute. At the top right corner, you can find the GLS has been added to Chrome. Use this extension by clicking on this icon. And once it is added, you can start working with the Google Meet. Now I am entering into meet.google.com to call for a meeting and how we can split the screen. Start a meeting. I am calling for a meeting. Once your meet is ready, you can join and you can invite the participants. I am adding people through mail. Sending a mail. So once the participants are ready, we can add them. So once if they enter into the meeting, we can give them an admit and we can have a control. So here is a place where you can go for the ratio of the screen. So the thing is you have to work with the dual monitor or dual screen. That is the name it, is, it got as dual S. The purpose or uh, meaning is you are work, going to work with the dual monitor. So you can design the ratio of 3 is to 7. For example, if you have the participants as within 10 participants, 3 is to 7 ratio is enough. If you have beyond uh, 40 members, <clears throat> 30 to 40, you can go for 40s to 60. If there are more participants, you can go for 70s to 30, etc. So I am giving just 3s to 7. So now you can look into the participants and you can select your presentation which you want to present. Uh, design the presentation. And after taking the presentation, I am giving the admit to the participants. Once your presentation is ready, what you should do is you should give the uh, present screen. So I am giving present now. Here the thing is I should not give the entire window. I should give us. I should not give the entire screen. I should select a window instead. Here I should select my presentation and I can share. Now you can find the screen is being divided into 30 is to 70 ratio. And what the participants can able to see is they can able to see only this window presentation. And here in the 30 is to 70 ratio, you can uh, have a dual monitor. One is your presentation and the other is your uh, participants for monitoring. So here you can look into the participants who are in the meeting. So parallelly, we can uh, look into both the activities. So you can have a live field such that you 
uh, teach your participants or you speak to your participants by looking into your uh, uh, presentation in addition also to them so if their camera is turned on you can get a feel that you really have a live class uh, in a real classroom so you can get this uh, feel with the help of the dualis extension so hope you are uh, clear with this session so thank you stay tuned